So I was just reviewing a Brett Victor project. It was Dynamic Land, of course, um, last night. And I got thinking about computational thinking, for lack of a better term. And I don't know if I like want that term to stick, but it's accurate. So it's not really like systems thinking or design thinking, heaven forbid. But by computational thinking, I mean thinking about ways of solving a problem given that you understand what computation is. And what computation is, I think Claude Shannon himself really uh, came up with a sort of succinct uh, characterization of it. And he just says that Computation is applying known operations to known information to reveal latent information. And that's a very sort of specific thing because it's also, it's, it's distinct from going and physically obtaining information like a empirical work. Uh, but once you actually have it, in your confines, in your four walls, then you can operate over it. And what I have found with, you know, they call them normies, um, but just people who just don't understand computational thinking because they don't have any training with it. And this brings me back to the, the Brett Victor and the, the Seymour paper kind of situation is if you don't have if you don't have training under with with computation in general your sort of approach to solving problems is is piecemeal it's just doing the thing by you're doing the work versus doing the work that does work and i mean that's you know, really what computation is a lot of the time is doing, or doing rather what programming is all the time is, is doing work that does work. And I think the thing that's important about it, and this is certainly what I've found with people who don't understand, aren't trained to think computationally, is that they don't understand the logic, like, the, it, like what you do when you're doing a computational thing doesn't look rational to them because, you know, and I see this and I've encountered this recently is just people would be like, you know, why are you doing all of this work? And it's like, well, I'm not doing all this work. The computer is doing the work. Uh, I am rather telling the computer what to do. I am creating rules for the computer to follow. And, uh, you know, and I see this kind of thing where, where you have, you know, like you have some kind of processing task and it doesn't matter if you have one thing to process or a thousand things or a million or a billion things to process because the computer is going to be doing that. And the question is, what does the computer do? And therein lies the computational part, the computational thinking, I should say. And I found this, what's really kind of problematic about the situation is that people in charge of things generally don't understand computation. And so they'd be like, well, why are you doing all this extra effort? And because they just don't understand why you would, you know, do a certain thing or another. Because if you were doing it by hand, it would be extra effort. But since you're doing it in a way that's not load sensitive, it's, uh, actually the same. So you sort of think about like transformations and, and operations and you, and, and, uh, over a, a set of, of input. And, you know, you can do work that does work and you can do work that does work that does work. You can, you can abstract it recursively, uh, what, you're, what you're trying to do. And I think, and again, to take it back to Brett Victor, to take it back to Seymour Paper, you know, Alan Kay, etc. When you see these guys making things that kids are interacting with, you know, and I got the experience of, of messing 
with a logo turtle, you know, when I was like five years old, they brought it into kindergarten and they set it down on the floor and you could type into it and the little robot would drive. And it really gave a sort of perspective, I think, that you can do things like you, the human, are concentrating on the operations that the computer executes. And again, you're making rules for the system to execute. You don't do it yourself. It's doing the sort of the first order job, the, the coming into contact with the actual material that is to be operated over. That's what the computer does. And, and you are telling it what to do. And so the, your effort goes into defining those operations. And it's the operations that, that, that really need, are the things that need to be evaluated, not the material itself. Because yeah, again, one, a hundred, a thousand, a million, a billion, doesn't matter because the operations that are going to happen to them are always going to be the same. Anyway, going to finish my coffee.